Hey, in this video, I'll show you how I created this awesome food truck design and web starts. Uh, notice it's got some great features here. For example, when you have a food truck, you move it around town and you want people to know where they can find you. I put a big button, call to action, discover where we'll be next, because I figure that's the number one reason why people will want to visit a food truck website. When you click on that button, it slides down the page to this uh, form and what that does is gives a site visitor the chance to enter their name and email address to figure out or be notified uh, where the food truck will be let's say the next day the next week so on and so forth but great way to build a list in the middle of the page I have the menu food trucks are usually pretty simple so I've created some simple uh, menu items those can of course be replaced by whatever you know type of items you might be selling out of your food truck and you can see here it's called the great american food truck and so the menu items i chose were american traditional hamburger french fries fast food type stuff i put an icon there that represented fast food that i found on the web uh, just to support that under the about tab i just put these little uh, vector images of famous people uh, as a placeholder and I put you know meet our peeps to try to sound a little cute I guess and uh, just be a little original I put all this social network information in the footer so that appears on the bottom of each page and then under the contact page I put you know where you can find us on the map and another contact form but lots of cool features on this website and if I go into the editor, I can show you how I did that. So the first thing I want to show you is how I made this button drop down to the bottom of the page. I did that using an anchor. Here you can see there, the anchor is just above the form. So I linked this button to this anchor. And I did that by first dropping an anchor. You can do that by clicking Add and then choosing Anchor and then you can see it's dropped on the page and you can slide it up and down the page. If I want to get rid of that, I just tap my delete key while it's selected. Once the anchor is set on the page, you click on the element that you would like to link from. In this case, it's going to be a button, but it could be an image or text or your menu item or whatever. And then you click on the hyperlink icon and then you choose anchor from the side menu. Next, choose the page where you placed the anchor that you want to link to and then choose the anchor number and for this example it's anchor one and when you're ready you just click create link and that will create an anchor link from this button to this location on my page when you're ready you save that and it's added no problem i added this form simply by putting a box on my page clicking on apps clicking on form builder and choosing name and email as the styles and then inserted the form on the page and then selected the form chose the design brush and chose the material design skin from the options that were presented and then I adjusted the colors up here with the menu selected I chose the background color for the button to be red and I also adjusted the font size to be 14 pixels because I think it was a little bit bigger than I wanted at first but that made it easy and you, you could easily uh, change that if you want. Uh, like all web starts templates you can just select any element to drag and drop it double click on an element if you'd like to edit the contents so in this case if you want to edit the text contents you can do that by selecting it and as soon as you do that you can see the WYSIWYG appears that allows you to change things like the color, or the font weight, or the font style, and also apply a, a tag to it if you have some style tags set up that helps you manage the style of your website all from one central location. I'm not going to get into the details of that right at this moment, but there is another video on that. Uh, all the images are in my file manager, and if I double click on any image, I can uh, change out those images uh, with another one. I used an icon up here for my logo, so I clicked Add. I went to Icon, and then I found a truck icon. We have about a hundred icons you can choose from, and there happened to be a truck, which was a good fit for a food truck website. Uh, other than that, I just did something pretty simple on the About page. For example, I added this Meet Our Peeps section by just 
adding a content block, I clicked add and then content block and then I chose the crew option and then I added this particular content block uh, and then I just customized it by changing out the images that are included. You can always delete a content block at any time. The social bar I added by clicking add and then I went down to social bar and then I uh, added the uh, various links for each one of my social networks, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and I also entered the email address. Lastly, on the contact page, I just did another copy of the form, and then I styled it the same way, and I added that page by clicking Add, Content Blocks, Contact, and then I chose this middle contact, Content Block. So that's a rough tutorial of how I created in really about 30 minutes this great looking food truck website using WebStarts. Hope you find this video to be helpful. Visit WebStarts.com if you would like to create your very own free website and also to see more videos like this.